welcome to my easy statistics this video is structural equation modeling using amos part 8 in this video we will be discussing about multiple model analysis for conducting this multiple model analysis i am using an example of theory of planned behavior model theory of planned behavior model is a consumer behavior model in this model we will be considering five factors like AT stands for attitude of consumer behavior essence social norm PB perceived behavior control IN intention and BI is behavior the relationship what I am showing here is an example of theory of planned behavior which was conducted in some other context. I have taken the same example and conducted on consumer social network services, consumer behavior of social networking services. <clears throat> and the data which I collected is drawn as a model like this which I am showing as a structural equation model I am showing where the relationship is like this like is perceived behavior control is impacting intention social norm is impacting intention attitude is inten uh, impacting intention and this uh, intention is impacting behavior and perceived behavior control is also impacting behavior whereas social norm and attitude is not directly impacting the behavior so this relationship what I am showing in a model uh, is a theory of planned behavior. So I have taken the model and used for knowing the consumers <coughs> social networking behavior. Okay. So this let me execute this and see how the data is. Okay. Let me add the file. I'm executing the file and uh, okay right so this is the data which I got let me see standardized values okay in my previous videos uh, I discussed about how to make a model identified if we have model identified then only we will get this activation of output path diagram if a model is unidentified we will not get this activation and uh, how to check model fit we have discussed and how to check significance also I discussed in my previous videos so let me see the view text in this first let me check directly okay let me go for this and uh, go for results you can see this degree of freedom is 165 okay this is a degree of freedom is 165 number of distinct sample moments number of distinct parameters to be estimated this all i discussed in my previous videos of model identifications now estimations coming to estimations i have this estimations you can see all are significant because if the value is p value is grade less than 0 0.05 then we call significant okay if we go for model fit we get minimum discrepancy is there it should be less than 5 yes it is there fine goodness of fit is also there okay now coming to the point I want to use changed model for theory of planned behavior i want to do a small change and create one more model and see is there any difference between model a and model b okay so to do this what i'm going to do is go to default model okay go to default model let me call this model as a model it's our tpv model and i want to create a new model let me call it as a b model okay 
so here I got a A model and I have a B model okay A model I don't have any constraint I took as it is theory of plant behavior but coming to B model I want to do a small change that is perceived behavior control impacting behavior I want to make it zero okay let me call it with a variable name that is W label it regression weight I am calling as W okay so in a model I don't have any constraints but coming to B model I want to maintain a constraint that is W is equal to 0 right so a model I am not going to maintain any constraint but in a B model change the model I want to keep a constraint that PB perceived behavior control has a zero impact on behavior whether this is going to be correct model or not correct model we are going to discuss let me execute it calculate estimates okay now I got it just I'll magnify and show you the results See, if I go for A model, I have negative uh, weight minus 0 0.73 is there. But if I come for B model, okay, if I come for B model, let me go it once again. See, it is 0 because I maintain the constraint. Now, the point here is to be discussed is which model is better. So, already I have confirmed that A model is correct. If A model is correct, is B model is also correct? If I make it zero, is it correct? That's what I want to compare. To do this, let me go to view text. Let me directly go to model comparison. Okay, this is important for us and this is going to make us a conclusion. Right, we are already assuming that model A is correct. If model A is correct, model B to be correct the P value should be greater than 0 0.6 I just repeat once again if model A is correct model B to be correct P value should be greater than 0 0.6 but in our case P value is 0 0.012 which is less than 0 0.6 so B model cannot be correct that is what modification what we made in theory of plant behavior is not valid so coming to the model perceived behavior control has an impact on behavior of consumer if I make it zero that model what modification I am doing is not correct I cannot consider that model to be correct so this is how we can come to a conclusion and compare model A with model B and check we have a base model that is model A is a base model because I am taking this basing on some theory and basing on that model I am going to make some modifications in exploratory way and see whether I can get that the second model is correct or not so this is possible by going the feature called as model comparison in my further videos I will discuss in elaborated way how to go with this model comparison for now I expect this information is useful for doing multiple model analysis thank you